<sighs> a little rest to brush the road from Boo's fur, and then back to our adventure. How dare you? Minsk pretends at nothing, half the way or otherwise. Minsk is an open book, with many pretty pictures. Oh, my friend. There is much more to know of Minsk's homeland than he could ever put into words. Boo might fare better, but his home is far stranger again. Well, in many ways, it is the very opposite of this city. The far side of Faerun, with empty plains, white forests, and peaks that pierce the very belly of the sky. But it is like the city, too. Here, it is loud with the daily wailing of people. In Rashomon, it is also loud, if you know where to listen. The Telthors, guardian spirits of every root, rock, and tree. Here in the sleeping lands, they are silent. But in the far north, they know how to speak still. Because it is slow and stupid and sleeping. Ah, who says Minsk should phrase this in a kinder fashion? Telthors are the living soul of the land. They flit about, offering petty blessings to those who show respect, or playing tricks on those who do not. This is so in Rashiman, but not beyond her borders. Here, the spirits sleep. And perhaps we ought to be glad of this. In Rashiman, a Telthor is wind and snow and soil. In Baldur's Gate, it would be stink and stain and a far less pleasant type of soil. If my meaning is not clear, just check under your boot. The first time, my Dajema. A warrior's quest of proving. Minsk quickly proved that quests do not always go as the stories say. After wandering away and some savings of the Sword Coast, Minsk returned to Rashiman to find a welcome fit for hamsters and heroes. The Iron Lord himself came to bear witness to Boo. Minsk of Rashiman, said he, your Tajema is done. Minsk politely disagreed. Daina here was dead, and so his Dajema could never be done. Then swear your service to me, Minsk of Rashiman, said he. Serve your land as your lord's chosen champion. Minsk politely disagreed. It was a little awkward, but he had already sworn his service to Boo. Minsk of Rashiman, said he. You insult your iron lord. We will settle this matter in the circle of combat. It was only polite for Minsk to agree. After they carried the Iron Lord away, the Council of Witches gave Minsk a pack of provisions and said it would be best if he continued his adventures for a time. Yes, Boo, that was before we were stoned. Perhaps we are due a little homecoming when all of this is done, no?